He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Gadget Professor. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor. We are on episode 119, almost at 120. I am coming to you live and in color from great Narragansett, Rhode Island. We are on the tip of the coast of Rhode Island, uh, near Point Judith. If you check that out in the map, you'll see we're at the very tip of the island, and uh, Point Judith and uh, Galilee is where people would get the ferry to go to Block Island, and uh, maybe next week I'll do a, a one-minute video and try to sum up all the high points of uh, Narragansett to get you uh, give you a feel for what the uh, beautiful island of Rhode Island actually looks like, at least Narragansett, some pretty places here. Now, uh, The Gadget Professor is uh, a show that is brought to you every Thursday night. We try to come up with uh, a gadget of the week, which we do have this week, and also some software and uh, apps that will be useful for you and your family. And uh, there are no uh, curse words on The Gadget Professor. It is a family-friendly show, so I welcome everybody to watch it, and thank you very much for doing that. We are actually heard in 165 countries around the world, which is amazing to me, and I'm sure it's amazing to you, but I thank you very much for your viewership. Again, if you're new to The Gadget Professor, thank you for tuning in. We are uh, heard on pretty much every piece of uh, media or glass, as they say, that's out there, the Roku box, the Boxy box. We're on iTunes. Uh, you can watch us straight on the uh, uh, website if you want, and to do that, just go to the Gadget Professor, uh, dot com, and here's our web page. If you go down to this brown box and click it, uh, you can actually subscribe to the Gadget Professor, so any device that you have, your iPod, your iPad, anything like that that takes an RSS feed, if you click on that, you'll automatically get the Gadget Professor loaded to you every Thursday night when the episode is actually transferred up to that big server in the sky. Also, you want to uh, subscribe to the show notes, which again is on the gadgetprofessor.com page, and that would be right here, right in the middle of the page. Uh, it says newsletter, and if you subscribe to the newsletter, it's absolutely free. All you do is put your email address in. Uh, nothing is going to happen except Thursday night, as soon as the episode is put up, you will actually receive in your inbox all the show notes, and you really do want that because it takes all the URLs all the things that we discuss uh, every week, and it hot links them, and it makes it uh, a great reference point. As I always, I always mention that there's not a week that goes by when we don't have someone asking me, hey, do you remember you had an episode on that? Remember you had this app? You remember you had this free piece of software? Uh, I don't remember. So uh, that's why you want the show notes, because everything is hot linked, and you will always have it, and you never know when you're going to need it. So again, thank you very much for tuning in, and let's just get started. Uh, as you know, the Gadget Professor has a, uh, uh, a page on Facebook, and you can get me there. And of course, uh, you can email me any time of the day, 24 hours a day, you can email me at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. That would be thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. If you have a product, uh, you're a manufacturer, or you have something new that you'd like me to cover, just drop me an email note at thegadgetprofessor.com, and I'd be happy to get in touch with you. There's no cost to come on the Gadget Professor. I can Skype you in. I can Skype your product in. Uh, I can pretty much do whatever you want, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for sure. And it's great exposure for everybody, and it keeps my fans uh, uh, entertained and educated on the newest and latest things in gadgets. And speaking of the newest and latest things in gadgetry, you have to check out my Rebel Mouse page. It would be rebelmouse.com forward slash the gadget professor. And as I said, I love this page because uh, I tweet probably 50, 60, 70 times a day. I have a couple people that actually help me do that. And this whole page is dedicated to new cool gadgets that are coming out or that are released pretty much every hour. So if you go to this page uh, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, at 1.30, it's changed. And what it does is it takes our Twitter feed, and you can just reach me at Twitter, 
uh, at Twitter. Let's try it again. You can reach me at Gadget Professor on Twitter, at Gadget Professor. And the Rebel Mouse page essentially takes that Twitter feed and converts it into an absolutely stunning visualization of everything that uh, I tweet about. So here you can see all the latest in gadgets literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And believe me, there is a lot of cool stuff. There's so many things that are cool in this. I even look at the page several times a day uh, to give me a quick visualization of what's going on. So definitely check out Rebel Mouse. And uh, I am pretty confident that in the next month or so, uh, we're going to actually have the people who created Rebel Mouse on the Gadget Professor show because I think it's a great, great tool and uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. Really cool tool. Okay, so let's start today. Uh, today we're going to spend a little bit of time on real estate uh, because that's a hot thing in the country these days and uh, these are some sites that will tell you uh, essentially what your house is worth, uh, what's for sale in your area, how much rents are going for, what's been sold and, a, and as I said a rough estimate of what your house is worth now keep in mind these are rough estimates so the first one that I'm gonna go to is Trula or Trulia and uh, that's T-R-U-L-I-A these are totally free and essentially you can put in uh, the address that you're interested in or uh, uh, your own home address whatever and it will give you uh, what the rent value could be how much the house is sold in your neighborhood for and an estimated value of what your house is worth and also you can click on and find a real estate agent so if you're thinking of selling a home or buying a home these sites are an absolute must now another one that probably most of you have heard of but for those who haven't this is called Zillow and uh, Zillow's been around for quite some time and again you can put in your address or the house that you're interested in or the area that you're interested in it will show you uh, how much the value of the house is including your own house what the rental prices go for the pre-market and a instead of a Zillow estimate it's called a Zestimate and that's another site you can go to a third one is called realestate.com these guys have been around forever and they all essentially do the same thing now what you'll find is very interesting is that if you put in the same property on all three sites the uh, uh, dollar amounts are going to vary considerably and I, I can't tell you why uh, the only thing that comes to mind is that, you, that they use a different database or they update it more frequently than than the uh, other competitor uh, now again these sites are free but what is interesting is uh, if you take an average of these three sites uh, if one house is worth five hundred thousand then you look at the same house it's worth six hundred thousand and you look at the other one it's worth three hundred thousand if you average those three out that's probably going to give you the best quote rough estimate of what your house is look is uh, looking is looking at is how much it's worth so uh, check those out they're they're pretty interesting to to take a peek at along those lines if you're looking for a great mortgage calculator these are free apps that are on the iPhone uh, and also the Android system this is mortgage calculator by QL uh, it's totally free and it does a great job of breaking down your monthly payments based on an interest rate and the term of the loan so these are very handle handy things to have here's another one called home snap real estate I really like this it has a lot of information on it and uh, again it's totally free it's available on the Android or the iPhone so you want to check that out another app and I mentioned this quite some time ago and again this week I got a a letter from a fan saying hey what was that gas app you had well in my opinion uh, the one that I use all the time and the one that I like the best is called Gas Buddy and quite frankly it's just going to find you the cheapest gas price around. What's cool about Gas Buddy is when you're actually getting gas, let's say it's 368 and you're filling the tank up and you looked on the app and it said it was 369, well what happened is they just lowered the price so you have the ability of actually going into that app and updating what the cost of the gas is so that's why I like gas buddy because it's probably one of the more accurate gas pricing uh, apps that are out there and I think you'll you'll enjoy looking at that and again it's totally free and I believe it's available again for the iPhone or the Android system now here's a uh, a site that uh, I actually used yesterday and I was pretty impressed with it it's called webs.com you can essentially make a free a free professional looking website today use our easy website builder to produce your business group 
or personal website at no cost. Can't beat the price on that. So essentially you're going to sign up, use a username and a password, obviously your email address, and uh, you can make a free website. The site's very simple to use. Of course they have packages that you could buy. They've got to make money somehow. But uh, you can make a free website. You can view uh, the features that it has. And uh, they have some really nice uh, templates that you can use. So you really don't have to be a, uh, a web genius or an HTML genius to use this app. And uh, it's totally free, and I think you'll enjoy it. And last but not least, uh, we have the super anti-spyware app. Uh, they have a free app and they have a paid app. Uh, here's the comparison of the two, but this got great reviews from pretty much everybody that I've looked at on the net. And uh, essentially the free app is going to give you quick, complete, and custom scanning of hard drives, removable drives, uh, memory, registry, and more. That's included in the free one. You can detect and remove spyware, adware, malware, trojans, dialer worms, uh, keyloggers, hijackers, and many more other types of threats. And also on the free version, you can trust the items and exclude folders for complete customization of scanning. Uh, the professional version, the one that costs money, uh, and that's 30 bucks, has a lot more features uh, you may or may not want, but this is totally free. Now, again, the Gadget Professor only uses two free uh, spyware, if you will, antivirus apps. I use Microsoft Essentials on my computer, and that's totally free. It's from Microsoft, and I think it's one of the better ones out there, and what I like about it is it's made by Microsoft. Obviously, they're going to know what viruses affect their software. They have to. So that's totally free, Microsoft Essentials. I've mentioned it many times on the program. And uh, the other one that I use is called Malware Bytes, and that protects your system from any kind of malware if you're uh, loading things. I test a lot of stuff out on my machines, and I actually have one machine. All I do is use it for testing, and I actually have that on, on VMware, uh, which is a whole other episode, but that, uh, that will allow me to just click a button at the end of the day and reboot, and whatever I put on the uh, a machine in terms of hardware, uh, let's see, in terms of software will actually disappear so I never get a virus on it. And I can make sure that it's clean before I recommend it to my audience. So, uh, you don't want to have more than one virus protection software on your computer because they will conflict and they will create havoc for you. And I can't, uh, I can't impress upon that fact upon you enough. Only use one. Don't use... Uh, uh, you can use malware bytes because that's going to look for malware and the antivirus from Microsoft Essential is looking for viruses. So don't put on McAfee. Uh, don't put on uh, the one that I, that I uh, well, I won't even go there. But just use one, one software. The one I was going to mention was Norton's. I personally am not a big fan of Norton's. Uh, and the reason for that is I find that it's very intrusive. It takes over your whole machine and uh, it just drives me loony. So... Uh, if you want to use this super anti-spyware, again, it's got great reviews. I've tried it out. I do like it, and uh, it's free, so check that out. And now, without any further hesitation, equivocation, or whatever else, uh, the gadget of the day is going to be put out by Extreme Mac, and essentially what you can do with this device is uh, hook up any device that has an audio input jack that is not Bluetooth ready, and this does a magnificent job. And many, many months ago, maybe even a year ago, I, uh, I actually did a review of the cousin to this, and I'll tell you the difference in a minute. So uh, what this looks like and what this does, it's a, a very small device. This particular device, unlike the other one, uh, plugs into the wall. So you essentially plug this into the wall, and that's what gives it power. And then you have a mini jack, which is right here. So the mini jack essentially is going to plug into the audio in on any device that you have. It could be your stereo, it could be your bedside radio, whatever has an input jack you can plug this into. And what essentially happens now is this device here will make this your, your device Bluetooth. And that's kind of neat. So if you have your iPod, your iPad, uh, your Android system, anything that has a Bluetooth connection on it will pair with this and it will make it wireless. So that's a very 
handy device to have, particularly if you have an older TV set and you want to pump a movie through it or something like that, or music, and you want uh, to do it wirelessly from your iPhone or Android phone, this is the device that, would you, that you would use. Now, also, uh, this comes with a little jack, which is kind of a nice touch, and essentially this plugs into here, like so. So if you have an RCA input left and right, uh, this will actually split this up and make it a stereo jack, and that's what that's for. So that's kind of neat, too, uh, if you don't have the uh, mini jack, which would be here. So it's very easy to use. Uh, this is going to come up as BT on your uh, Bluetooth when you go for the directory. Obviously, the Bluetooth has to be put on the device, and this will actually light up, and it will pair with the... Uh, device that you're using, let's say the Nexus 7 that I actually have here on my desk and I'll demo for you this for you in a minute. Uh, once this is paired or part, you don't have to do it again which is very nice. It will remember it will remember what the uh, pairing was and you never have to do it again. Now the other device that I that I reviewed is exactly the same thing except you don't plug it into the wall they work exactly the same way and essentially what happens is you put two batteries in here so the other one works on batteries this one works on the wall outlet now I've had the one that works on batteries for a long long time and it works well except the batteries wear out and sometimes when you go to use it it doesn't work because the batteries are dead so it works fine and the batteries last for several hours but again you've got to replace them so what's nice about this version is it plugs in the wall and that's what gives it power instead of using the batteries. Other than that, the functionality is the same. Now, I actually have my Nexus 7 right here and we'll, we'll turn this on. And uh, right now, I, uh, I'll show you the screen here. I'm ready to go. I have this all hooked up. This device is all hooked up behind me and I'm going to actually play uh, Pandora. Little blues for the... Uh, for the Gadget Professor show. So right now I am actually uh, paired up, paired up uh, with my Nexus 7 on Bluetooth Pandora and I'm going into the amplifier behind me and uh, I'm actually using this device. So as you can hear the sound is, uh, is very cool and uh, we can rock out on uh, the blues show here and this is a uh, uh, Lightning Hopkins is playing right now. Lightning Hopkins. So I'll pause Lightning there and I'll get back to that a little bit later. So uh, very, very handy, very easy to set up. Great device, great fidelity. Love it because it works on Bluetooth. And essentially you can just plug this in the wall. Of course you have to have an outlet and some people don't like that. If you don't want to plug it in, then get the one that has batteries. And these are available really from a company called... Uh, Extreme Mac, they make a lot of different things, and if you want to buy this particular unit, you can Google it on the uh, internet, but uh, if you go to the uh, uh, Amazon site, uh, they have the Extreme Mac Bluetooth Connect audio receiver, which is the official name of what we're going to call this, for $19.99. We will call that 20 bucks, and it's on Prime, so you'll get it in two days, and uh, it works real well. If you don't want the one to plug in, then they have the other one, uh, which, uh, let's see if it's up here. Uh, that might be it right there. Let's see. Uh, that's Yeah, I think that is it. So that's $13.99, and that one works on batteries. So uh, take your pick. They both work real well. It makes a great gift for someone, uh, as long as they have a device that's not Bluetooth, and they want to make it Bluetooth. And that will... Somewhat wrap it up for the Gadget Professor. Uh, I will be in uh, the Narragansett studio for another two or three weeks, and uh, towards the middle of September I should be heading back to Arizona, and uh, we'll be in a brand new studio there, so we're very, very, very excited about that. And uh, I keep mentioning that some cool things are happening behind the scenes, and uh, what I will tell you is sometime in the month of September, late September, maybe the first week in October, we're actually going to change slightly the format of the Gadget Professor and we are actually going to be uh, broadcasting the show live on live stream so you'll be able of course to watch it the way you are now there'll be no changes in that but we're going to have the other uh, added value if you will of being able to go on live stream and streaming the show live 
which will allow uh, a lot of fans who are interested to watch the show live and actually uh, comment on what I'm doing, and uh, I can actually comment back, or I'll have uh, Wildman Mike uh, monitor the chat line, and uh, it should be a lot of fun, so maybe we'll, we'll entertain some questions about gadgets or maybe some technical problems live uh, on the air. And the way you would know that is you would subscribe uh, to our newsletter and to Twitter, and right before we get ready to do the show, uh, I'll send out a tweet, and if you're available, you could turn on, uh, tune into live stream. We'll give you the channel information and all that, and uh, check us out live. So that should be a lot of fun. I don't know how it's going to work. We'll experiment, but uh, it should be pretty cool. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Keep the letters coming, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. I will see everybody next week. Thank you so much for tuning in. So long. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.